everybody, your favorite Silly Goose here, and today I've got some Doc Mock templates. <laughs> Doc Mock, I think I'm so funny. Document mock-ups, but I love that it says Doc Mocks because it reminds me of Doc Ock, the Spider-Man villain, which then reminds me of the Into the Spider-Verse version, Dr. Olivia, uh, Doc Ock for short. Anyway, all right, so a lot of people, and I've been doing so many of these in the most recent history of my life. I don't know why I phrased it like that. Uh, I have been doing so many, make myself smaller, because I'm doing a lot of lead magnets, a lot of ebooks, because everyone has so much information to go around. So I've got these document mock ups, which are also new in that something really, really, really exciting. I want to show you this is that Canva's frames. So if you come to elements and you come to frames, the frames are now adjustable. Thank you, Canva. Thank you, Canva. You're also gonna notice that I'm using the new Canva Glow Up, which features a white task bar over, or a white uh, left rail, left sidebar over here, and the little floating guy. It's very similar, guys. Don't be intimidated by the new Canva. Um, it really does actually kind of make things a little bit easier, um, and all the stuff is generally in the same spot. But the frames are now editable. Did you guys know that there was a sheep hidden in the, the Canva frames? Um, so I have already formatted all of these to be perfect for letter sized documents. Additionally, you can now add borders to your frames. Thank you, Canva. And you can curve the edges of your Canva frames, which means that now you can come in here and decide that you want this version or that version and it's amazing. Um, additionally, Additionally, you can also change shapes. So if you don't like this little badgy guy, don't delete it and start over. Come over here, come, well, come over here with it highlighted, click shape, and then you can change it. Watch this, you can change it. You can change it. You do not have to have a little guy. As long as you're using a standard Canva shape, you are more than welcome to, <laughs> I'm giving you permission. You're more than welcome to come in here and like do a cute little free guy like that. Like that's kind of cool. We'll leave it in the template, why not? Um, or change the shape to be however you like it. And bless you Canva, you can also add border to these items as well. And round the corners if you so desire. Oh, actually, you know what that makes me think of? If you can round the corners, nice. So you can see you can go from a cog to a starburst. Okay, but now, how do I get my documents in here? You're gonna go over to your, hopefully you design it in Canva. Um, let's find one that I have that I can, oh my gosh, the amount of documents I have in here is just absolutely insane. Uh, I did have a quiz that I wanted to put up in here. Uh, I love this little quiz. I never did anything with it. Comment if you'd like for me to release this. It was gonna be a cute little, like, what color palette do you like best? Like, what? where do you wish you were working? What is your favorite gradient? All of this really cute stuff, but I wasn't sure if anybody would want to actually do a cool, like a PDF quiz versus like a lead magnet kind of quiz. So anyway, so what you're going to do is open up your document and come up here to share and then download. I hate how Canva has this, but you're gonna click download. You're gonna see Canva's gonna say, you want this to be a PDF, right? You do when you connect it to your lead magnet, but you don't, or when you collect it to your um, newsletter, like when you connect it for actual download, yes, you want a PDF version of this, but for the mockups, for my doc mocks, you're actually going to come down to, I prefer a PNG. So you're gonna click PNG right here. PNG. You don't need to mess with anything else. Um, definitely don't make it transparent and you don't need anything else. So we're going to click download. Then we're going to wait and we're going to take a sip of water while we wait, right? We're going to wait and hydrate. And then don't forget Canva, <laughs> once it's done downloading and the next dialog box that pops up, Canva is handshaking and giving this to your computer. A lot of my clients are like, where are my files on um, I don't know, where did you save them, right? So you can see over here, I'm just gonna plop this bad boy on my desktop, don't do that. You know, Olivia, model model better. I'm gonna put it in my documents here. Uh, actually, let's put it in my shop. 
because it's not going to be a shot, but it's, it's a freebie. I consider it the same thing. Um, brand personality quiz. Look at me being a role model. Put it in a destination. Look how organized I am. Click save. And then you're going to open that bad boy up because it is going to be a zipped file and double click it. Okay. We did it. Now you're going to come over to your doc mocks and you're going to drag some pages that you like, right? Now, when choosing pages to put in a doc mockup, that just makes me laugh so much, doc mock. When you when when choosing to put pages, put put the sexy ones, right? Don't put pages that don't look like this one I'm not it's informational, but I'm not going to mock that one up, right? I want my visually awesome pages. So I really like this one because it has a warpy checker. I really like the cover, what's your brand style, and I love the little color palette here. So I'm going to drag all of these over into my doc mocks, into my horizontal bad boy here, and I don't know why, yeah. Then you're going to drag and drop. So you're going to drag and drop into that. Now these are not um, shaped correctly because this is this is actually a presentation. This is not an eight and a half by 11. This is a presentation which has a different ratio. We're gonna talk about ratios in a second and I hope you stick around because you need to learn it. Uh, but we're gonna come back over here and we're just gonna cheat it. We're just gonna move because you can double click, double click in the frame to be able to move things around. <laughs> so we're gonna pop this one in here. We're gonna do what's your brand style. And then we're gonna pop this one in here. Fun. Now, let's do some trickaroos here. First, I'm thinking that the the outline's a little bold for even it's a little bold for me even at bold August. So I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna click here and drag and highlight all of these things. I'm gonna come up here to border style. Click on that bad boy, and I think I'm gonna do two. Right. Nice. That's feeling a little crisper. I also think that I don't like the corner rounding for me. So I'm gonna, un well, I think I'm gonna do like a teensy bit, like a seven. That's nice. I actually think I like three. I like a border, I just don't think it needs to be. There we go, I like that. I'm also gonna scoot this down a little bit and scoot this over. How cute is that? Free, nice, nice, right? I'm going to demonstrate another one. Here's These are doozies, right? These are real doozies. And you know what? Let's repeat that process again because this is it's going to bug me that this is in a presentation format. And it's also going to bug me. You know what? Hold on. We're going to pause this. Ta-da. Don't say I don't love you. Don't say that because you know I do. So what I did is I did a, um, why did all those things delete? Uh, I gave you a horizontal letter-sized ratio and then I also gave you look at that nice and then now here's presentation it's a little bit wider I got you and then I'll go ahead and redo these as well so that you can have your presentation all fancy if you want to highlight oh, gosh I'm just so kind so this is gonna be horizontal letter sized and then I will duplicate and put in all of this hopefully it's I people have told me they like watching me do stuff in Canva so hopefully this is still like wow look at her go kind of thing that's nice we're gonna command uh, bracket to go to the back yeah okay so now let me show you how to do this crazy one right here um, again you're gonna drag and drop and again pick the sexy ones you're just gonna drag and drop from where you've already uploaded items pick the good ones pick the, the pages that feel like they are um, fancy you know don't pick pages that feel ugh. like take the extra care to put some good stuff in here right I'm gonna take some care to like really pay attention and now what I might do is actually grab this one this little pencil guy because you know where it would be great is right there it, it's great kind of sticking out of the, the corner so I need one two three four five I think it's okay to repeat sometimes but in this case because this presentation is massive I don't need to repeat right I'm gonna just grab 
grab some of the stuff that I did not finish. And I'm going to pay attention to what's showing in the corner. So I might even cheat some of this, right? Like I'm going to make that go a little bit bigger so that people can see. And then do I want to cheat anything else? Yes, because you can't see the other side of this. I'm not going to re-upload. I'm just going to pop that bad boy in. And then let's find one more page for the bottom that I don't hate. Yeah, maybe some fonts. Oh, people love a script. Oh, they just love a script font. Okay, now again, I'm gonna highlight all of this because I think that that border is just too thick and I'm gonna do a two. Oh, I'm missing one. There's one right there. Where do I, what do I wanna put in there? Let's do that. That's a duplicate, but I don't think it matters. Okay, so now this is looking really pretty. To give it some contrast, you can click on the, try to click on the background and then maybe change the color. Ooh, I really love that. That's nice. And then you can highlight everything to even tilt it, which I have done in the next couple ones because I, I like a tilt. I think it looks really fun to kind of add that. And if you're feeling really spicy, if you're feeling really spicy, I would say you can duplicate this. Don't put in the cover on one of these. Highlight all of these. Take down the transparency, right, up here at the top and then paste your cover to go on top so that it's like one of those like wow look at everything that's inside of this singular document right you can highlight everything and then hit shift to unselect the top one um and then maybe even here i would want a darker color because that way yeah hot that way you can actually see the cover so i'll leave this in as well i mean i'm not going to leave it in like this i'm going to remove everything so that you've got a template. The tricky part is the templates behind. You kind of got to double click them here. There we go. And what I'm doing here is just double clicking inside of that frame and deleting what's inside of it. There you go. That's nice. Look at how pretty that is. Now, Olivia, what do I do with it? Like, what do I, what do I do with it? So, you're going to, first of all, let's talk about ratios. You're still here. Hear me out. Hear me out. Just let me, <laughs> let me tell you about ratios. So especially in Squarespace, let me, let me hop on over to Squarespace so that y'all can see. I'm going to log into squarespace.com and go. All right. So we're, we're at my blog and I'm going to click edit. Don't pay it. I know. Don't get on. It's because there's some code in here. Let's not pay attention to that, but I'm going to click edit section. And you guys have may, may have seen this in Squarespace before. Like, what are these? No one's, what are these? Well, I'm here to explain it to you. Ratios are the sizes that everything <laughs> falls into, including your phone, right? Your phone and Reels and Instagram are actually a 9-16 ratio, and you can see widescreen is 16-9. And then you've got 3, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4s. 3-2 is short and skinny like this, and a 4-3 is just a little chunkier. Do you see the difference? It's just a little bit, right? And then widescreen, again, is a long, a long skinny format. Ultra widescreen, I guess you could get away with that. I'm not actually sure what, what that one is, but I'm going to show you, and I'm going to click exit um, for ratios, right? And then the same thing happens in Flowdesk where you need to know these specific ratios because let's say you wanted to upload one of these in a form. So let's pretend that I do. Let's come over to a new form and find an inline, right? Where I have an image on the left and my stuff on the right. So I'm gonna do showing your stuff, that's the segment. We get a little bonus here. And now you can see here the shapes, the shapes that this is in. It really does fit a square. Like I would recommend using a square, which is what I already have in here. These doc mockups are a square, right? So a square is going to be, I'm going to click position and I'm going to come over here and it's 324 by, let's do uh, 300 by 300 just to use that. So this is a 1-1. One, one ratio in design. Now, if I want a 3-4 ratio, it's going to be 300 by 400, right? So that is a 3-4, or it goes like this. And I'm holding down the shift button, so you can see it's going to keep that 
keep that ratio. But it flipped my text. Of course it did. Whatever. Um, and then a 2, 3 is going to be 200 by 300. Right? So that's a little skinnier. And then my long one is actually going to be 900 by, because um, it's a 16 by 1600, and that is giant. So I'm going to flip it and make it smaller. There we go. Bum -ba -da. That guy is not correct. And you can actually, if you don't want to wiggle it, you can just type over here. Just do 90, and that's a perfect angle. So these are all of the ratios, right? So if I'm in Flowdesk, you can see if I do this, what you'll want to do is kind of make this a little bit bigger. Why aren't you filling? Let's just fill that with something real quick. That's annoying. It should fill. Maybe it's... Yeah, Flowdesk is just going to be annoying. I would recommend doing a, sh a square for Flowdesk. But you're going to pay attention to ratios. Now, Olivia, what if I want one of these doc mockups <laughs> to fit one of the other ratios, right? What if I really don't want this to be a square? I want to use this in a different way. You're actually going to hit the resize button up in the top left and then do a custom size and then just think about your ratios. Well, this is going to help you portrait landscape. So if you want it to be a 4-3, I would actually do some math and make it bigger so that you've got a good size. So a good 4-3 size is going to be um, 600 by um, 800. Ba -ba Except backwards. We're going to do 800 by 600. And you see how Canva's letting you know that's going to be a landscape file. It's not square. It's not portrait. It's a landscape file. So I'm going to copy and resize because I don't want to ruin my beautiful work over here and we're going to wait for it. And I opened that up and now you can see it kept this here. I kept my ratios. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit with command minus. Um, and you can see now you can do some wiggle room. Sometimes Canva is smart enough to mess around with this, but you can redo these. Now, these are going to be a little bit weirder. You might just have to reposition them, make the whole thing a little bit bigger like that. Or you could, oh my gosh, it did not like whatever I did here. Um, or you can ask and comment if you need a different ratio. I'm happy to provide that um, as a template if enough people ask me for it. But going back to the doc mockups, um, hopefully that was helpful in showing you exactly how to utilize a document mockup. So go in there, use this, use the horizontal, the letter size, make some beautiful stuff with your, um, with your brand um, to really showcase the great work that I know a lot of you have um, ready to go. And I hope that you can get creative with this template as well. You know, experiment with moving things around, change the computer frame. Now that you know how to upload PNGs and or download as PNGs, upload those PNGs and then put them in here. Hopefully you'll have a lot of fun mocking up your docs. All right, guys, thanks so much.